Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering Statistics. Here we're going to work our first problem where we're finding a confidence interval with a variance or standard deviation. And uh, I've hated, honestly, giving you all of this information about chi-squared and all these equations without anything concrete. So here we're going to finally get something concrete, and I think you'll understand a lot more about how to do these problems. So the question says, a pencil factory is testing the variance in the mass of pencils produced. Sampling 15 pencils randomly shows a variance of 3.4 grams. What is a 95% confidence interval for the variance of all pencils produced in that factory? It's a very practical problem. If you're creating you know, anything in manufacturing, bottles of water, buckets of Play-Doh, pencils, whatever, you probably are making, want, interested in making sure that your machines are pumping out consistently shaped uh, and, and sized items. In this case, a pencil. So what they're interested in doing is they're not looking at the length or anything, they're looking at the mass of the pencils. And they're not looking at the average, they're looking, they want to look at the variance. They want to see what is the variance, which is related to the standard deviation. And it kind of gives you information about the spread, how tightly packed are these pencils as far as their mass goes. If we have a very low variance, and that means the factor is producing pencils, very tight tolerance, very similar masses. But if we get a variance that's huge, then we're, we're not going to be having a very happy day because we're going to be having a factory that's producing pencils of all different masses, shapes and sizes and things like that. So we expect some variance, but we want it to generally be small. So in this case, we're testing the variance of the mass of pencils produced. We do sampling 15 pencils and we find the variance is 3.4. Uh, grams. And we're trying to find a confidence interval for what the whole factory is doing. So we only have a very small sample of 15 pencils. We want to find a 95% confidence interval. So we go to our procedure. First of all, we're, we're doing a, a confidence interval for variance. This is variance, sigma squared. So we're going to be using this equation right here, or this confidence interval guy here. There's only four steps. The first step is from the samples, find the sample variance. And that's actually given to us in the problem because it says right here, uh, the sampling of 15 pencils randomly shows a variance of 3.4 grams. So S squared is 3.4 grams. That's given to us. We don't have to calculate it. It's just the sample data that we have. Now the next step says, from the confidence level, find alpha, which is 1 minus C. So in this case, we know that C is 0 0.95. The reason we know that is because we want a 95% confidence interval. And then from that, we want to calculate alpha, which is 1 minus C which is 1 minus 0 0.95, which is 0 0.05. So you see, when C is big, alpha is always small because they always have to add to 1. All right? So 0 0.05, that's alpha. Now, we go back over here, and we say step 3. We have